this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you with another gun video. Appreciate you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate everybody for tuning in at the DC Channel Guns. I want to appreciate everybody's support, all that good information and everything. I want to appreciate everybody. Now, we have a fight on our hands, bringing the energy today. Because, you know, I'm reading a whole lot of stuff. And guess what? The anti-gun is ramping up everything. Now, they always talk about the gun show loophole and everything. But let me tell you this. The anti-gun has found a loophole how to destroy gun shops, gun owners, gun manufacturers. They have found a loophole and they're finding it easier and they're saying, that, oh, this is an easy way to pass gun legislation and, and gun regulation and stuff like that. You know why? Because they're trying to back off all the hard rhetoric such as red flag laws and stuff like that because, hey, people have caught on to that. So now they reformat their message and see that's dangerous because it's more acceptable. So now you have your anti-gun running around talking about gun tax, gun tax, gun tax. Now that is starting to be ramped up, but you know why? Because in Tacoma, Washington, now there'll be a link below to send you to this where you can get more reading and stuff on it. But in Tacoma, Washington, they are right now in a decision making to pass a farm tax. Now, with all the information that these elected officials and stuff in Tacoma, Washington got, first of all, uh, gun tax do not stop crime. It have, the statistic shows that because you pass a gun tax, crime doesn't go down. Uh, it doesn't stop uh, gang members from getting firearms because they don't go in the gun store to get their firearms. So the gun tax is not going to affect them whatsoever. Uh, statistic shows that gang members do doesn't buy a lot of ammo. So, you know, the only people who get who gets affected by gun tax, law-abiding citizens. You know who get affected by ammo tax? Law-abiding citizens, gun owners. And you know who else get affected by it? Gun shop, gun manufacturer, gun business. Now, in Tacoma, Washington, you know, you have a lot of people now trying to, you know, just fight and trying to keep this tax from passing. Now, in Tacoma, they're trying to pass a $25 tax per farm sale. And they're also trying to charge two to five cent per round. Depends on how much you buy. So, you know, that's why I talk about the importance of stockpiling ammunition. A lot of you look at stockpiling ammunition the wrong way. It is trying to avoid catastrophe that can happen when they're doing stuff like this. Like you got ammo tax and farm tax. You're trying to avoid spending so much more money on the ammo. That is the whole key of stockpiling because ammo is not going to go down. It's going to go up. I keep telling people that I've been stressing that for a while up here. Now, like I said before, you have states are now catching on. They're using more soft rhetoric. That is the, the loophole for the anti-gun because it's going to cost some money. This election here is serious. Uh, to my, I'm reading articles. You got Mel Bloomberg and his anti-gun crew that are forking millions, millions in this election. They're forking millions. They want to win. They want to destroy your Second Amendment. And they're throwing a lot of money. You have people putting a lot of money in this election to try to, try to destroy your Second Amendment. And, you know, right now you have all the anti-gun organizations that are running around pushing the um, uh, farm tax and stuff like that. They are serious about this. They are pushing it. Tacoma, Washington, they got the evidence that it doesn't work. It doesn't stop crime. It doesn't stop gun violence. It doesn't do none of that. But you know what? They want to do it because guess what? Their main objective, the sole point of this whole farm tax is to destroy gun manufacturers, to destroy gun owners, to destroy little small gun shops in your communities. These are small businesses. And with, they see it as a big priority now with this farm and ammo tax. They see it as a big priority because... They know they're trying to hit you in the pocket. They're trying to make you hurt. They want, it to, they want you to feel the pain. That's the reason why they're doing this type of stuff. And with all the evidence, they're still pushing it. You know, I was watching one video or article. You're showing the anti-gun, talking about, well, you know, we, hurry, we need to go hurry up and pass it, this and that. And they all, because in Tacoma, um, they delayed it. And you have the anti-gun very upset about that. They trying to, they want to go and get this thing passed and everything. Now in Tacoma, Washington, you have um, gun manufacturers and stuff like that. Um, you have one manufacturer which is Arrow Precision. 
make some awesome, awesome stuff. They make AR Lords and stuff. The CEO of Air Precision saying that, you know, he can lose a lot of money. It can cause jobs in his business, you know, and, you know, his option. He don't want to leave where he at, but his worst option is to move, move from away from that place. And these are the things that they're going to start doing in every city and town. They're going to start coming up with these massive taxes, try to cause the farm manufacturers to move, run gun shops out of business. And like I told you before, when I did an article in Mexico, remember Mexico article? Article? If you the, the video I did on that, you remember that? When I told you Mexico City had one gun shop, so expensive, couldn't nobody afford nothing. None of the people could afford to arm themselves because it's so expensive. So you got to think about these things. And they're pushing hard. This election here is very serious. Forget all the distractions, too many distractions. They're throwing too many bricks and rocks. They're throwing everything at the gun owners. So they're trying to, you, we're ducking here, ducking there. We have to take this head on. And you got the DC rally. People need to show up. The ones that can show up need to show up, show their present. But I'm telling you right now, this thing is catching on like the California fires right now. I'm starting to see it ramping up. Even states who who strongly uh, support red flag laws and now talking about tax. See, they want to make you feel the pain, gun owners. They want us to pay dearly for each gun or ammo that you buy. And a lot of us been up here speaking this for a long time. And I understand some of the ones who've been stockpiling. I understand some of the ones who've been, you know, getting their farms and stuff, buying farms and building up their um, weaponry and all this kind of stuff. I understand this stuff now because they're going to drive the price up and make you feel the pain. And guess what? When it comes to the farm tax and stuff like that, you know who it's really going to affect? Now you're looking at the same situation in Mexico where you have the people who can't defend themselves because they can't afford it. So when you got the farm tax and ammunition tax, guess what? You know who it's going to hit? The low income people, the people who's on a budget, fixed income. They're not going to be able to afford to buy a farm. They're not going to be able to afford to buy ammunition. This affects everything. This is just not a little place called Tacoma, Washington, or uh, this is not just an isolated area. No, this I'm talking about this whole country, this whole United States, because it can spread. It affects everybody. What happened in Tacoma, Washington can spread everywhere because you got the anti-gun paying attention what's going over here. And, oh, okay, oh, it's working over here, so we're going we're gonna to make it work over here because guess what? The anti-gun, I heard it out of their mouth. They said lots and lots of times. This is easy to pass legislation. It's more, it's more welcome for the other side to vote for it and everything. Because this is not a red flag law. This is not a gun ban. This is not a gun buyback. This is not a gun confiscation. Because all them words speak horror and everything when it comes to gun owners. So they're trying to soften up the rhetoric, switch the game up, and they found this little loophole that they're going to use now to toss at gun owners and stuff like that. They are infringing, seriously keep infringing on our Second Amendment rights. So I want to bring you that. Keep your eyes open, gun owners. Keep your eyes on them because they are being very slick. Now, me doing this video today, I know it's Halloween. This ain't trick or treat. This is very serious stuff. I'm talking about, yeah, they, they pulling a trick on gun owners, but it ain't a treat for us. I'm just telling you that right now. This is not a treat. And like I said, stockpile and all this kind of stuff, this is the reason why you have to prepare. If you don't prepare, guess what? You suffer the consequences. Because like I said before, you don't know what can happen. If you have an ammo run in this country, shells get wiped out, then that's when, oh, yeah, now they're going to need to get some ammo in there. It's too late. Very, it, It's going to be too late then. Because just as soon as you find out, everybody else already knows. Just like a storm. When we have storms here in this state, hurricane come, people know weeks in advance. But guess what? They get bored right now to the day of the storm about to hit. Now they want to try to go out and get food and, and flashlights and all this kind of stuff. But it's too late. Guess what? The shells are white empty. Prepare, people. Prepare. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.